What is the CCI indicator? It's short name for Commodity Channel Index Indicator. In this video, I will explain to you what is the indicator, how does it work, and how can we build strategies around this indicator. Now, I have to start with a warning that this is not your average crappy video about the CCI indicator. On this channel, you will get valuable info, and that's what I intend to do. I will give you really unique ways to use the CCI indicator in your strategies. So let's start. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey. Thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algo trading, and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I post daily on this channel. Also, it would be amazing if you can share the video, smash the like button, so Google Algos can push this video to other traders, other investors, so they can get some value out of these video. CCI indicator was developed by Donald Lambert and was published in the Stocks and Commodities magazine in 1980. It works on every instrument on every time frame. It is a momentum oscillator where basically it measures the recent price change to the average price change of the previous period. Now that previous period it's optimizable. Uh, basically it's a length input where you can put any number you like. The oscillator shows the direction of the market trend and the strength of the trend. And it is not bounded like other oscillators, so it uh, goes above zero, below zero, and there is no limits on how far it can go. It will depend on the market and on your look back period. Having said that, it spent 75% of the time between minus 100 and plus 100. Now the CCI, it's a very versatile indicator and it can be used in multiple ways. You can use it to generate signals to buy and sell at a certain level going with the trend. You can use it to generate a reversal buy and sell. Basically, when it goes up in extreme levels, then you can use it to sell. And when it goes down extreme levels, you can use it to buy. Also, it can be used as a filter for the general trend. So in your strategy, you can use CCI above 100 as a filter for long biased strategies. You can also use it on its own on multiple time frames where you use the higher time frame to establish the dominant trend and you use the lower time frames to buy the pullbacks in those trends. The indicator comes preloaded on most platforms, I would say. But if it's not available, then this is the best, uh, the simplest calculation I found on the net, where basically it's a typical price. Typical price means it's the high, low, close divided by three, uh, minus 20 period SMA of the typical price divided by 0.15 times mean deviation. The only confusion on the net is this one, how to calculate mean deviation. So this is how you do it. You uh, subtract the most recent 20 period average from the typical price. You take the absolute values of these numbers, sum the absolute values, divide by the total number of the periods, which is whatever you pick. And then you get the mean deviation, which is you substitute in here. So that's the simplest uh, way to calculate the CCI. So here is how it looks on a chart. This is the CCI and the blue rectangle is the top is plus 100 and the bottom is minus 100. And the middle line, this is the zero line, the dashed gray line. So we can see that the uh, CCI goes up and down, and like I mentioned, it's not bounded, so it can go extreme levels. For example, here, this is 315, and this one above is 246. So the first way we can use this indicator is when the, when the price breaks above 100, then we can go along here and when the price breaks below minus 100 then we can go short here now i switch the 200 levels so the red dashed line this is plus 200 and minus 200 and now we can use this extreme value on the opposite side so when the price breaks below 200 which is an extreme value you can do that 250 or 300 then you go on the opposite way so we go uh, along here and then we go short here also that's another one 
and we go long here and they are very short lived and this one we go short here so this is what you will see on uh, youtube usually showing you the crap that i just uh, showed you which is to go long uh, i mentioned this many times before and if you look at all my indicators do not follow the default indicator because most likely even if it was working at the time of publishing it uh, by now it's gone the, uh, that edge is gone so never use the default values of any indicator you pick in any platform so let's start with some clever ways to use this indicator so first method is we i have put the two moving averages so one of them is slow one of them is fast now it doesn't matter you can pick and choose your period the periods you like i put here 55 for the fast 144 for the slow basically three times the slow one so this is the slow moving average and this is the fast moving average so the first uh, good way we can do this is when the price and the fast ma below the slow ma we are looking for shorts only and the short signal comes if the price dips below minus 100 so this is one and then go above zero this is two and then go down below zero we take the trade here so this would be probably somewhere around here and then same thing happens dips below and this is another trade somewhere around here and again it happens here uh, let's see so this one so this one dips below go above zero and then this is the trade somewhere around here and so on and so forth the other way to do it is every time you get an extreme reading and go back then we take a trade so this would be around here extreme go back around here extreme go back around here extreme go back around here and the reason why we have the first one is as you can see sometimes the pullbacks does not go over 100 so that's why you want to take the one above zero and coming back so every time it goes above zero comes back you take it every time it goes above 100 then comes back you take it every time it goes above 200 and come back you take it so you might start here see all these are reversals so this one will start here and you can combine all of them in a strategy so when the price the fast moving average below the long moving average you can take any trades uh, when the cci crosses down below zero crosses down below 100 crosses down below 200 all these trades are viable and you can take all of them in the same direction of course same thing goes for the uh, upside so as you can see a clever way to use the cci indicator in your strategy to generate multiple strategies in the same direction of the dominant trend and in this case we're using two sma for the dominant trade now you can use weighted sma you can use exponential uh, moving averages and you can use the cci on a higher time frame so i'm using here the daily we can use the cci on the weekly to determine the trend when it's above zero then we look for long trades when it's below zero we're looking for short trades either way we're always on the short time frame or in this even daily it's considered short because your dominant trend on the weekly even then you're always looking for pullbacks and instead of taking the pullback on its own in absolute terms you wait for it to enter back into the level so across below zero and above zero then you go long across below minus 100 then above 100 then you go long close below 200 or 250 and then above then you go long so you're waiting for this confirmation that this pullback is done so that's one way to do it now of course if you are a strategy quant x user or any data mining package users then you can actually use the machine learning to find some unique ways to build 
with CCI. So here I have strategy Quantex and I unchecked everything in building blocks except CCI. So I only have these conditions in CCI and I built a thousand strategies. And of course they're all profitable because they are ranked on profit factor. So this is the first one and we can see the strategy is saying when of course the CCI period will always change. So this is now 40 and these are the exit and stop loss. So let's focus on CCI. So here it says CCI of 40 is falling. And also CCI in 40 previous bar changes direction upwards. Let's see what else. So this one CCI changes direction downwards. And this one CCI is higher than minus 40 and the other period so we have two periods so cci 50 higher than minus 40 and cci 23 changes direction downwards so you see this changing direction actually you will never think of it you're always looking for a level but it looks like changes direction it's a significant way to find profitable strategies this one changes direction upwards and the uh, different period changes direction downwards. So we can definitely determine that from the top profitable strategies, changes direction is better than higher, lower than a level. So keep that in mind. Also using two different periods where one changes direction up and the other one down. Basically you're buying the pullback. Basically we are having a longer period CCI going up and we're buying the pullback on the shorter CCI period. So there you go, two very unique ways to build strategies using CCI. Of course, we're using CCI on its own, but of course you can combine it with other indicators, other signals, other patterns. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Basically what I'm trying to teach in this channel is unique ways to uh, build strategies, profitable strategies, robust strategies and not join all youtubers by just showing you the defaults as always if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them please do comment below the video uh, likes dislikes whatever your thoughts are i'll be happy to engage with you and of course you can always join the conversation on the discord server through the patreon link down below as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon <laughs>